Good day, fellow investors. I read a few comments saying that small caps are very, very overvalued. Then I came across a Wall Street article that said the same. And this got me interested. Okay, are small caps really overvalued? I know they had a great performance. So I really wanted to see by how much are they overvalued? Are they overvalued? Or it is just the market who is telling you something while it's actually the opposite. Let's dig into it. First, this is extremely important. If you would have invested $10,000 in the iShare small cap ETF since 2009, you would now be sitting at almost $60,000. That's 600% and that's a huge, huge performance and it outperformed the S&P 500 by large. However, on the valuation side, the price to earnings ratio of the ETF is 22.48. The price to book ratio is 2.19 and both are below S&P 500 levels of 25 and 3.32 respectively. The dividend yield is 1.26 for the small cap ETF, which is below the S&P 500 dividend of 1.8%. However, if you invest in the small cap ETF, Unlike the S&P 500, you are very, very well diversified. The top 10 names in the S&P 500 make 20% of the index. The small cap ETF composition is much, much better spread with the top company making just 0.6 of the ETF. According to valuation, small caps might not be overvalued. However, there is a huge risk for small caps. And that's why always in the past, small caps deserve the premium. The market cap of the iShares small cap ETF is 37 billion and that's not the only small cap ETF there. The S&P 600 small cap index that makes the ETF includes companies with market caps between 400 million and 1.8 billion with a median of 1.1 billion which makes the total market cap of the index 660 billion. This means that just this ETF that we are now discussing has 5.7% of the index. Other ETFs they still hold some names so if there would be selling pressure on small caps and most of those companies are really small companies with little floats privately owned or whatever then you would see a big big hit on small caps and this is why small caps are usually riskier than any other stock because the market is shallow there is no deep market and stocks can really really drop very very fast let's see another etf the russell 2000 etf so again, the price to earnings ratio is 20.19, the price to book ratio 2.27. The sector also looks very well diversified and no holding has more than 0.6%. Financials, IT, healthcare, industrials, consumer discretionary. So good perspective on what's going on. A lot of banks, but okay, so you know what you own. Price to earnings ratio 20. Total value of the ETF index is 44 billion with a weighted average market cap of 1.3 billion for constituents. So a little bit less liquidity risk than the SAP 600 small cap ETF, but still very, very risky exposure. From a fundamental perspective, you see a lower price to earnings ratio, but this doesn't mean that the small caps are undervalued. It means that they are overvalued because if we go back to 2000, 2009, the price to earnings ratio of small caps in 2000 was 10. The S&P 500 was 45. And that's the difference in premium usually small caps have because there is much more volatility. Anything can happen with small caps. They are not established. It's a crazy environment there. And when you see small caps trade equally to the established S&P 500, that's a crazy situation. And when you see that the market increased 600% in the last nine years, that's even crazier because you know that as fast as it went up, the downward road is even faster and it can happen immediately as soon as the ETFs or the holders of those ETFs start selling. And we all know that they hold ETFs so that they can sell, they can have liquidity. As long as that goes up because there are more and more inflows, it's good. But when panic hits such a shallow market, then all hell breaks loose. So from a risk perspective, there is huge, huge risk in the small cap environment. And I would look at a small cap sector investment like an ETF or a fund when the price to earnings ratio is 10 or below 10 or the CAPE ratio is 10 or below 10, because then I know that the long-term returns will be well. Now, extremely crazy and extremely overvalued. However, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't invest in small caps. 
because small caps give you a huge opportunity because if you can find the stocks that are still small that become great you get yourself huge huge returns and if you find those small great businesses the valuations doesn't matter if you pay 30 or if you pay 10 for a stock it doesn't matter after 30 years if it will be a return of 30,000 percent or 15,000 percent absolutely doesn't matter to your financial well-being let me show you this is the chart of walmart from 1972 from the ipo to 1977 if you would have invested one thousand dollars in walmart in 1972 your dividend your dividend now would be around ninety thousand dollars yes 1000 investment your yearly dividend now would be ninety thousand which is a spectacular return however in a short-term perspective risk reward perspective or you say overvalued small caps undervalued you would have lost what 66% from 1972 to 1974 those who invested 1000 in 1975 are now have, having three times the dividends they had 270,000 of dividends from a $1000 investment in Walmart that's crazy nevertheless 80,000 is great 270,000 is still great and it doesn't really matter and you cannot time that decline that happened in 1974 and that's terrible if you miss such an opportunity as as Walmart was because you are afraid that the stock might drop 50 percent if it's a great business a great stock you don't care if it will drop 50 percent in the next three years in the next recession if it is that great you will simply buy more 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 you will sell other things you will buy more but you must put things into perspective if after 20 30 years you will have a dividend that's 100 times your current investment if there is a risk for that then you really don't care about the short term one two three four five years volatility and that's the way to invest in great businesses now how to find such businesses very very simply you take the whole small cap environment of 5000 stocks and you go one by one by one by one when you pass the whole 5000 you will get a good view on the sector on the environment and you will see what happened who won who lost and you will manage to find the 10 stocks that have the potential to do great and of those one two three will do great in the long term oh 5000 stocks is that too much well nobody said that getting rich is easy on that terrible disappointment thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video looking forward to your comments small caps ideas what do you think about investing in small caps see ya